Hello and welcome to the Random Bros. This was our first CNC machine. Although it could cut aluminum, it wasn't very persistent and we could never get the same results twice. So the first crucial update was to completely ditch the eccentric nuts as we couldn't get them to work properly. The second upgrade was to buy a proper spindle as the Dremel had insufficient torque, power and it was too loud for us to work in the same workspace. Lastly, we added an emergency stop so we can stop the machine immediately in case of an emergency. The first test was to cut aluminum with 0.2 depth of cut. It started very well. But it soon proved us wrong. For some reason the machine started wobbling but we are yet to clarify why it did that. So the solution to that was to clear all the excess aluminum around the part which turned out to be a very lengthy process but worthwhile. I have to admit that it was very rewarding as the part turned out clean looking like a CNC component and not like something that escaped from the pits of hell. After all, we can clearly see the difference between the three finished parts and the quality between them. In case you are wondering the use of that component is to keep our diving equipment wrapped around our waist keeping us streamlined while diving. The next challenge was to cut some cooling fan holes on our other project that we are currently working on and also engrave a name on it and I have to admit that it looks exceptionally good. Lastly, we tried cutting copper with a custom G code. Although the spindle showed no struggle, the belt driven X axis couldn't handle it. Anyway, thank you for your time. Make sure to subscribe for part 3 and also follow us on Instagram 